Oh yeah, baby. It's time for J-Rock to check out and react to Star War Wars Jedi Fallen Order. New gameplay. Oh, I gotta see this. Let's do it. If you smile, what J-Rock is cooking. Finally, J-Rock has come back to YouTube. What is happening with the millions of J-Rock's fans? You're here with J-Rock to react to some Star Wars, Jedi, Fallen Order, some new gameplay. Oh, this just dropped yesterday. This is the game J-Rock will be getting. Oh, yeah. J-Rock will be getting this game. But let's check out this new gameplay, shall we? Hello, welcome to another episode of New Gameplay Today. I'm your host, Jeff Gord, joined today by Leo Vader. Hello. And we got a full house here. We got Matt Miller. Greetings. And whenever there's Star Wars, uh, Andrew Ryder smashes through the wall like Kool-Aid, man. What are we looking at here? I kind of did, actually. This is Jedi Fallen Order from Respawn. Ooh. All right, I've seen Star Wars movies. You have? Yeah. Wow. Craig. Yeah. Well, I saw this uh, demo in D3 also, and I was... This game like, looks uh, in incredible. Star Wars Amazing. Looks warm. Yeah. Don't know if I'm going to get it for the PlayStation uh, or for the Xbox. Yeah, yeah. I, I, Depends I on which one looks better. And, uh, uh, Probably like, played. I don't know, good three hours of this almost. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I also played at E3. I huh. thought I maybe liked it a little better than you did at E3, but I felt like it had some room to grow. I just, to be clear, I just watched the demo that they made. Uh, they let us watch to because they thought it looked good, and yeah. I, did, I disagree. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, so how Leo and I? Oh, that's what I like right there. A bunch of it. I like that. Famous streamer Kyle Hillier. Oh. And, uh, Slow down times. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I feel like, like I would be with you, Cork, if I had not touched it for myself. Because okay. I think it does feel extremely good to play. Okay. And, and I think that it, I got to play it at E3 and uh, and thought That's that some right of the there. timing stuff was still, there. felt like it was still kind of like a uh, work in progress. Mm -hmm. And I felt like now, the, the build that I played uh, this week mm -hmm. was uh, near final, I think it's fair to say. Yeah. And uh, everything felt very solid. Yeah. But this isn't your gameplay. No, no, no. This is gameplay they provided to us. They they didn't allow for capture. Uh, but this is the stuff that I played. This is uh, down on a uh, a planet uh, called Zeppo, I believe. Um, that you are um, you are exploring. You uh, without getting into plot spoilers or anything like that. There are um, uh, there's a reason related to some ancient force using culture. Um, the Jedi. That not the Jedi. That you are coming to this place, um, and um, uh, and the empire is already there when you you get there. Yeah. Uh, you did not take as many hits there, I bet, Miller. I, you know, I I don't think I did, and I'll tell you why. One of the things uh, that I discovered very early in my gameplay of this is that the the game is super focused on defense. Now I like this for a couple of reasons. One is that it forces you not to button mash, <laughs> but I also like it because it's kind of in theme. I like the idea that we've got a Jedi here who's not all about just like rushing in, and uh, and everything has nice. to be a, a aggression, yeah. right? Like that's in keeping with the kind of fiction, right? Um, and the best way to play this game, I, I promise you, when you get this game, is uh, is to focus on defense. You got to learn how to parry. You got to learn how to dodge. You got to learn how to not fight. slow it that, down. Um, you end up succeeding at, at battle. Like so you can see right there, this guy's kind of getting beat up. Yeah. Is um, this a developer playing his own game? I don't know who this is. I mean, they might be trying to show off, like, the dynamics How of combat. How to get punched in the face. Um, but you can see, like, the, the enemy got red there for a second. That's an unblockable attack. Ah! Um, but, all, but with the exception of those, lots of attacks um, you can parry, and then you get a, a cool counterattack opportunity. So you see this. Ah, the wall run. Lovely. <laughs> right. Well, <laughs> so he, here's one of the things. In my written preview, one of the, the things I focused on that I, I want to circle back to huh. here is that um, the game does not as a whole 
feel super original. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of things here, that, from what I've played, that feel like they are very specifically drawn from other Star properties Wars? and other uh, games. It does Star Wars. Who well, cares? That, in a sense, is sort of like, you know, yeah. going off of what's come before. But there's also a lot of things where they are... Um, uh, Dead Space? There's... There's Uncharted, like this, this whole sliding down thing is for me very reminiscent of a kind of thrill ride Uncharted experience. Um, you have definitely have some God of War DNA in here. Um, and one of the things that's maybe not super obvious is that the Dark Souls very nice. is very central to, like the, the actual structure of play of a Dark Souls or a Bloodborne is very central because you, you explore and then you find these meditation points. Mm -hmm. um, and when you sit at them, they're effectively camp, like campfires, right? Yeah, enemies respawn and... Exactly. You get, the enemies come back, you can spend your skill points, uh, you can improve, but then when you go back out, all the bad guys are there again. Um, I messed around a little bit, not a lot. Most of the time I spent playing on what kind the of the, the, the is that? difficulty, but I did play a little bit. I don't know, but you just kill it. And the Lay the smack down on that chain, uh, the more it feels Dark Souls-esque. Right? Um, it gets, the timing windows on parries get tighter. Um, the enemies do a lot more damage. So if that's your vibe, mm -hmm. and you really like those kinds of games, I think you can kind of have like a Star Wars Dark Souls thing going on yeah. here. But the standard experience is not that. The standard experience is a lot more forgiving. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, uh, It's like if you liked playing Sekiro, but every time you played it, you ended up destroying your PlayStation. <laughs> yeah. You might enjoy this more. Ooh. Yes, I think there that's true. A limb that went out there. So they got those in the game. That was something they were trying to figure out when we were in the studio. Yeah. If they were going to be able to have detachable limbs on creatures, not human of itself. Sure. The robots just get all kinds of messed up. Yeah, you yeah. can really screw up those robots. What do we got here? This is yes. kind of a cool area. So, but beneath Zeppo, you get into the, the sort of Zeppo ruins, and these are the tomb guardians that you discover okay. down there. Um, a dwemer. Yeah, right. Um, and, uh, you know, they make for nice little kind of mini-boss-esque fights. Mm -hmm. They're not super easy, but they're, you're also not likely to totally get destroyed by yeah. them if you're playing carefully. Um, this is also the area where um, uh, you get to... S there's some, like, puzzle solving that goes mm -hmm. on down here. Um, I like how they approach puzzle solving, by the way, because um, you can do it all on your own, and they let you kind of just do it and explore if that's what you want. I like that, man. But you can alternately, you can always... Like, that's what a lightsaber does. From your droid friend, ED-1. Yeah. Um, they don't do it with human enemies, obviously. Here's generally what you Why? Do. I don't know. Um, at the end of the yes. Zappo sequence, you come back here, you get back to your ship. Yeah, right uh, in the background there. Exactly. Not the ATST. Uh, and uh, this is kind of like after you've completed one of the main objectives on the planet. Man, I like this game, game, man. You come back up through uh, along sort of some different paths. J Rock isn't worried about these jabronis talking in the background. No, 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 no. And at the end of it, you got a note from your buddies on the ship that, like, oh no, there's an ATSD here. And it's kind of the, the climactic encounter of the sequence. Hmm. Um, oh, I like the glow. I, I don't care right. if it's games so cool. are um, taking ideas from other games. Like, job, so what? Is this game good? Ah, so this you know how many bad games take I ideas from other video out, games so and like, they hey, stink? The boss fight, and like, so what? A lot of games do that. They take an idea and they build upon it. How most video games work. Call of Duty. It's just a retread of something they did and they build upon the idea again. Same thing. So if enemies are coming, they're still coming at you. This is, if memory serves, is a cool little space that I also had found. I let you. There's actually a button for hold up your lightsaber as a flashlight, right? Uh, and so you, when you go into dark spaces, you um, uh, you want to do that, and and it lets you kind of find stuff out there. There's a lot of um, a lot of places that you can kind of divert and find. Like there might be a cave off to the side that there's excuse me, you have to search for a little bit. But inside, in one of those, for instance, I found an expansion for my healing. Um, uh, the number of heals I could get. Mm -hmm. right. Congrats. Talk to me yeah, about, thank you. you're kind of going into it here, All right. uh, Metroid a little bit. 
Yeah. Uh, that was an inspiration point. We talked about Dark Souls. Mm -hmm. They also looked at the Metroid games, Prime in particular, how that was structured. Yeah. Wanted to do something like that where players got new powers, came back. Did you run into anything like that? Yeah, you know, I think uh, with a preview like this where we, we play for a couple of hours, there's always these things that are like, okay, well, we know that this is part of what you guys want to do but the hours that we're playing simply aren't enough to know if that's how it's going to turn out. And I could see the evidence that was hot. of that sort of Metroid. Ah, okay, I see what they're doing. Uh, you got to stay on your toes with this one. I, um, uh, Go full I of Tarzan. The circus, and that pretty much got me to the end of my time, right? I had time to kind of look around a little bit. But even as I did, I saw some of these new spaces that I could break into. But then now I didn't have force push when I went down, right? and I had it when I went back up. Um, and uh, I think how well they implement exactly what you're talking about, Reiner, is going to be a big deal for the overall final um, verdict on the game, right? Because if they can do that well, they can make it so that all these planets that you're going to have really meaningful things to come back and do and, and really feel like you're um, yeah, well, so now I have this force power and I can go into this one area and there's a whole new thing that opens up that'll be super cool oh okay um, I think I saw that they're first time I'll see him do that there but how expansive is it, it is wasn't something that was uh, uh oh now you gotta slow it down even really to see um well oh, they're really focusing on environment uh they are navigation using your stasis field i uh so you, you're gonna see here i'm sure i mean the way to get past this is he slows it down um one of the things that surprised me a little bit about my time playing the game is how much is this kind of stuff yeah. i think i was thinking it was going to be more combat Ooh, i want to see how he got past is. the next part of and it. don't get me wrong there's a lot of great battles um and i think they're fun um but the bulk of what I played was more exploration and and um, puzzle solving and um, you know finding little hidden caves, uh, using force powers to cross weird uh, platforms. Now, did he clear out this area? Is that why there's nothing going on, or is there just vast? There's just these where... empty spots. Sometimes. Does he ever talk to himself, or is it just like this bigger? No, you know, one of the things that is, is not in here is that there is a really beautiful score um, that is reminiscent of classic sort of John Williams style um, Star Wars stuff. Um, he does talk to his droid buddy okay. sometimes. Um, uh, on that note, by the way, I'd like to say that BD-1 as a companion is a good companion. We've all played enough video games to know that there are good companions and there are bad ones that get in the way. Um, he is not... Uh, one of the latter. He, you know, he helps out. He gives you heals. Um, he lets you slide down ropes. All that kind of good stuff. But um, there's no point. There was no point during my hours of play that I was like, oh, this guy's annoying. What's up with the vibrating cactus? Yeah, you don't want to touch those. Are those. Yeah, those skunguses are trouble. Skunguy. If you you can actually use them against enemies if you get in a fight while they're around. Um, Here we go. You can run up to one and sort of trigger it as a bomb. Oh. And then, uh, and then if you get the enemy nearby, it'll explode next to them. Crash is kind of cool. Um, Woo! <laughs> Okay, they should just go M. Just allow it for <laughs> stormtroopers, all that stuff. Right. Yeah. X Men it Makes sense. Um, I, you can see you got a skill point there. I like their their skill system. It's um, split up into, gosh, uh, if I'm remembering correctly, there's like force powers, no, lightsaber right. powers, and survival skills. Mm -hmm. um, and so every time you spend a skill point, it'll be like one of those things. I think I know what you have to do here, Miller. You do? I hope that you do it. But, yeah. Or me, this person me the person who's not playing? Yeah. Uh, this is this. This was this whole involved puzzle, by the way. And just oh. use the damn force and move yeah. it. <laughs> I think Levitate this, it. I think at this point in the in, I can't remember at this point in the demo if you actually have force push yet. You might not. Mm. Um, you can only pull enemies toward you. It, yeah, not, right. I don't know if that force pull either. Gosh, this, this is you know, obviously there's a little bit of jumping around here yeah. that they're showing off different parts of their game. They really like the ice skating stuff. They do. They like the yeah, that's hot. Stuff. I they like, like that. The wall you gotta, you gotta be on your toes, though, because you don't know if another one's wall, coming up. Wall or if you got a wall yeah, run, statues, swing, wall challenge. run, another skate, <laughs> well, it's a, it's an skating rink, culture, if you will. Yeah. Um, 
but this puzzle goes on for a long time. You, you're kind of weaving in and out underneath these tombs with these these wind currents pushing you around. So you have to mm. note how he has to jump oh, off cool. to the side and then it pushes him. Um, wow. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a good puzzle. I, I like it. Not impossible or anything, but kept me entertained for the time it took to finish it. I like that animation. Whee! Um, the, uh, one of the other things that I, I liked is that there's some, like, customization stuff. We're not seeing it here. I mean, he's just kind of got his standard poncho action going on mm -hmm. here. You can take the poncho on and off, um, as, and just see the outfit that's under, underneath. And there's also different options for that outfit that you acquire as you explore. Did you acquire any while you were exploring? I did. I did. I changed my outfit. Um... Oh, so you can, you can customize. Like, what's loaded? You can customize. Uh, you know, a different uh, rusty different color. Poncho. Yeah, <laughs> different rusty yeah. Star Wars color. Um, but, uh, you know, I appreciate... Uh, ha! Appreciate a little That's hot. Of I like that. Games. Mm -hmm. but presumably... Yeah. So you'll be able to spend money and get... When this game drop? Costumes? No. No? No. Oh, yeah, My no understanding is... November 15th. So we got a little less zero. than a month. Guys, they've said they've said that. Right? Am I yes. wrong about that? Right. Yeah. And they are know what they know what a microtransaction is, right? <laughs> I think they are aware of the definition. are aware of what it is. Yes. Okay. Do you have the collector's edition? Uh oh. What if they charge on the Man, that's dollars, nice. Then it's not Little a ninja guiding in there. For those of you who remember that game. Uh, this is veering into a portion of of uh, of play that I did not see. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's a little Tarzan action. Okay. I did appreciate one of one of the things. Oh that was, no! <laughs> what? Oh, no! Wow. We're it's Skylanders, like just straight up Skylanders. <laughs> yeah. What? Uh, what are you going for it. Oh. One of the things I really liked is that <laughs> you do have choices as you're wandering around with your starship about where you go next. So at the beginning of my demo, they were like, "Hey, if you want to see the storyline and you want to see kind of where things go and see the kind of curated experience, you want to go to Zempo." That's a cool There's shot right there. On the, on the galactic you used to do that in Uncharted a lot. You'd be climbing up um, and then they'll, pan, is, they'll zoom is, out uh, like to see all of yeah, what's yeah, happening. Is, the the, the scenery yeah, and all that good stuff. Uh, Perch Trooper, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, very cool. Now, what are your thoughts about as the fidelity of games improves from what we grew up with, it, it really does seem to me at least that the, the lightsaber is a real problem. Because in the movies, it behaves in a way that it can't, <laughs> would not be fun in a game. It's almost like a Superman that you could turn on and off. Right. So they have to, like, when you threw it at the beginning, or the person playing through the lightsaber, and it was fully extended, and then it went through that robot. I'm pretty right, sure you're probably going to have to fight on. maybe. Right. Two of those at one time. Yeah, so you really gonna have to get your your lightsaber uh, skills. But at the same time, you just cut a rat too. So it's what is, what who, is this? Who is this? Now, I did do this fight. The Night Sister. Demo that I got to play. Uh, that was just this boss fight against the Night Sister. Uh, against the Night Sister. Yep. Uh, she's one of the Inquisitors. She used to be a Jedi. Okay. So okay. the Night Sister is the one that's after him. Uh, at least at the beginning of the game. So okay. Well, this is supposed to be pretty late in the game, is my understanding. Um, again, I only played this in isolation, so I don't know exactly when it is. Oh! To other, so she uh, got the full... Back to Kashyyyk then. Maybe. Okay! Powers, new area. That's kind of cool. Um, and, uh, you know, it's it's a cool fight. She's sort of the like the brute boss. Mm -hmm. um, the implication from the story bits that we're not getting to see here are that... Uh, uh, she's had a rough go of things. She was trained by the Jedi. She was taken. She was tortured, and you know the the anger that she has now is uh, is uh, comes from a a pretty rough go of things that she's had. Taken from her Goron home. That's right. Ah, okay. Wow. Well, that's all the footage we have. Excellent. Well, what is this out? Uh, it's out on November fifteenth. So I think people are going to be uh, excited to. Uh, be able to play it. I came away more excited than uh, I had been for the game. Oh, well, J-Rock is a lot more excited now than he was before. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Thanks for watching. Okay. Well, that episode was just okay. What are you going to do? Subscribe to Game Informer on YouTube. All right, man. That game looks good. J-Rock will be getting this game. It comes out November 15th, less than a month away. J-Rock will be getting that. Post your comments down below. Let J-Rock know if you will be getting this game also. What you thought of this game. If you like it, you don't like it. 
Uh, I got to get back into Star Wars. Haven't really watched a whole lot of Star Wars in a while. Um, so J-Rock will be getting back into it. But uh, but I definitely will be getting this game. Uh, love the, 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 the tra traversing and the, and the wall running, the double jump, the swinging, the Jedi, the... the the, man, like it all. Like it all. All right? Sorry. Just, the people's allergies are, are kicking, laying the smack down on my candy ass. Okay? All right? So J-Rock had to go and, 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 and uh, powder his nose if you smell what J-Rock is cooking. But anyway, uh, if you appreciated J-Rock's reaction to this video, make sure you hit that like button and you subscribe. J-Rock is trying to get to 1 million subscribers and he cannot do it without you. Uh, so make sure you share this video and let everybody know that the YouTube people's champ, the most electrifying YouTuber in all of YouTube and entertainment, J-Rock, is here. Also, make sure you hit that bell so that you can be notified that it is time to be electrified. Thanks for joining J-Rock. J-Rock appreciates it. Until next time. If you smile with J-Rock is